Today we're unboxing the Thrunite TN42. It's a great light. It throws 1,550 meters and it's 600,000 Kindel. You can see here it comes with a shoulder strap. It also comes with a bag with two O-rings, a spare button, and a split ring for mounting the shoulder strap. The light weighs one and a half pounds fully loaded and it has comes with a very nice anodized coating on it. Taking a closer look at the light, we can see the coating is very well finished, nice and smooth on there. Nice and clicky button, and you can see the XHP35 high way in the bottom there. There's a good amount of knurling on the handle, which creates a nice grippy surface when holding the light. There's a couple markings around the head, they got the name and a couple of other manufacturing marks. Looking at the handle of the light, the threads are nice and square, which make it a very smooth connection between the handle and the head. The battery carrier is made very well. The springs hold the batteries in nice and tight, and there is no specific way to insert the carrier into the handle. It can be inserted either way, and it holds four 18650s. Where the carrier connects to the head, there's a nice strong brass button, which acts as the positive side, and the silver ring is the negative. Compared to the C8, it is very large, but compared to the BLF GT, that's another question. The GT is much bigger than the TN42. The shoulder strap connects in an interesting way. It clips into there. The only problem I have with this light is how the shoulder strap upper part covers up the button if you're holding it over your shoulder. It can be annoying, but it's not that bad. I wish they made it differently. Inserting an 18650 into the carrier, we can see how snug the battery is inside. It doesn't move around. And we can see the extra space we have if you want to insert a protected cell. It might fit. Very big cells may not fit though. I have just about assembled the light and you can hear how smooth the threads are when screwing them into the head. It is made very well. When the light is powered on, the button lights up blue the button will turn red as a low voltage indication. Now for the UI. To get into moonlight, hold down the button. And if you hold down from there, it goes from low, medium, high. And if you double click, it goes to turbo. Double click again brings you to strobe. Now for lux measurements. I have mounted the light on a ladder facing the door and we will place it on turbo and then proceed to measure the output of the light. For this test, I'm using the Dr. Meter LX1330B. I'll link that in the description. Here I'm trying to find the hot spot of the light to see where the highest number is so I can get the full amount of output. We will later take this number and use it to figure out the actual throw distance of this specific light. Now we're gonna go over some of the specifications of this light. Its peak beam intensity is 600,750 candela. Max beam distance is 1,550 meters. It is waterproof IPX8, impact resistant to one meter. It weighs 666 grams. On Firefly, it's 0.8 lumens. Low, it's 38 lumens. Medium, it's 256 lumens. High, it's 780 lumens. Turbo, it's 2,000 lumens. And Strobe is 680 lumens. Now to take what we learned from the test and turn them into some numbers we can understand about this unit. Our unit produces 705,000 candela which is 100,000 more than listed on the instructions. I can confirm this because other reviews have shown higher outputs as well. We also got 1,679 meters of throw rather than the 1,550 that it says it should. Now we'll move on to some beam shots and some range tests comparing to a modded C8 with an XPL high. Our first test is about one kilometer away, aimed at a power plant.
Our second test is aimed in an apartment building about 560 meters away. Lastly, we'll test it at 248 meters at a lighthouse. Overall, I think the TN42 is a very well-made light, and I am glad I have purchased it. I recommend it to anybody that likes far-throwing lights or does a lot of boating or camping. It is definitely fun to play with in very dark situations. And that about wraps up this video. Thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned for some more, and see you in the next video.